yogis, welcome. Namaste, my name is Babette. As always, so good to be here. Um, for today, lots of shoulder stuff. I listened and uh, today you will receive some uh, strength training, but in the in the realm of still a uh, yogi practice. So I like to call them yogi drills. Nothing too crazy, but some stuff to make for really strong and open shoulders, uh, as I will be getting into some binding today, quite deep binding. So maybe have a hand towel nearby or a strap, if you're like, I'm still working on this. And we're gonna get into some knee mobility stuff. That can take some time to build over time, I will give lots of options, so please, no pain. Uh, be very gentle there, please. I will, again, give options, take whatever feels best to your body today. Have some towels nearby. Hand towels are probably best uh, if you want to use them for binding, and then maybe some water. Blocks can come in handy, but you're primarily gonna just need your practice space and your mat. Thanks for being here. Thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing. Uh, as it does help for me to um, be here on this channel as often as I'd like to be and especially more in the future. Please come to sit in a child's pose at the back of your mat. Knees nice and wide, big toes to touch. Allow your sit bones to drop to heels, walking your hands forward. Let the upper arms soften, shoulders soften into the elbows, forearms, wrists, and palms of the hands. Be gently rock out your forehead side to side, smoothing out any tension. Uh, child's pose is often referred to as this beginner's pose. Not so much. It's quite the hip opening, shoulder opening, and it quite intensely stretches the tops of your feet. So try to relax the tops of the feet into the mat. Let your belly soften, relax between your thighs as you send your breath all the way into the back of your body, lower rib cage. Take a nice long inhale through the nose. Inside out. Then please tend all your fingers and press those fingerprints into the mat, lifting elbows, forearms, and wrists off the ground. Releasing your sit bones a little further to your heels. Lift your forehead, thread your right arm underneath the left, come to lie in the right upper arm, the right cheek. So you could breathe in through your left armpit, take a nice long inhale through the nose. Inside out. And then on the inhale, extend your left arm up to the ceiling, bend the elbow and wrap the lower arm around the low back, maybe snuggle the hand into the right inner hip crease. Keep the arm wrapped around you as you come up to sit on the shins, heels, Right hand goes to the left knee. Go for a nice long inhale, lengthening through your spine. And exhale, go a little further into your twist. Inhale, face forward, walk your hands forward, back into child's pose. Tend your fingers, lift palms, elbows off the ground. And then exhale, thread the left arm underneath the right. Coming to line the left upper arm, left cheek. Maybe a nice long inhale through the nose. And side out. Please free your right arm to the ceiling, bend the elbow and take the lower arm behind the low back. And again, maybe take it into the left inner hip crease. Keep the arm wrapped around you to come up to sit on your shins, left hand to the right knee. Go for a nice long inhale. Exhale, side out. As so you go a little deeper in the twist. Inhale, spin forward, face forward. Take the hands between your knees. So this thing called Mula Bandha, pelvic floor lift, as you are gonna need it in this next transition. Pressing up into Malasana, yogic squat, hands to the heart. Maybe take the feet a little bit wider than inner hips with the part to bring the heels down to the ground. Of course, you can sit on the block. Fluid Malasana here. Inhale, tend the left fingers around the left and right arm frees itself to the ceiling. Exhale, hands go to the heart, seat down, heart forward. Inhale, right hand in front of the right chin, left arm frees itself up, big wingspan. Exhale, hands to the heart, one more time. Both sides, inhale, left arm reaches up, sorry, right arm reaches up, left hand down. And then exhale, back to heart center. 
Inhale, right hand down, left arm up. And if you did the opposite way around, that's all right. We'll do both sides anyways. Then draw your hands to the heart. Take a beat. Maybe feel a little bit more comfy in your malasana here. Our bodies are very much designed to rest in this pose, in fact. Then take your hands down, sit bones, turn up, face your toes forward. Go for opposite elbows here. Nice rag doll here, a bit of a sway side to side. Maybe a nice long inhale through the nose. Sigh, perhaps flutter it out. Then release your hands underneath you, heel toe the feet underneath you. Halfway lift, flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Twice more, inhale, halfway lift, tabletop spine. Exhale, over your legs. One more time, inhale, lead with the crown of the head into your tabletop, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. So you can bring your big toes a touch, heels fist width apart. Bend your knees, reach your arms up, chair pose. Utkatasana, biases by the ears. It's still early, no need to go way, way low. Sweep your hands forward, down and back, interlace your fingers. Inhale, pull your fist down, then away from you as you puff out the chest without flaring the ribs out too much. Exhale, belly to your thighs, then lengthen to the legs. Keep your bind, head drop. Uh, if you're looking down, you're still bracing in the neck, so, so let the crown of the head drip down. Maybe rock some weight into the front of your feet and bring that fist a little further over your head. Then release the hands down in your forward fold of the asana. Inhale, take a halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend your knees, reach your arms up, chair pose, utkatasana. Again. Maybe this time sit a little lower. Try not to stick your booty out too much. No duck butt, please. Draw the tailbone a little bit underneath and forward. Then sweep your hands again behind you. Opposite thumb on top, wonky bind. Inhale, pull your fist down and away. Exhale, then go forward over the thighs into your Uttanasana with your bind. Perhaps an opportunity to start to lengthen through your legs a bit. As you pull your sit bones apart, you might feel a little bit more in the hammies. Then carefully let your hands come down, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, roll up to stand with the cat spine, zombie arms softening the knees. Once your shoulders roll back, inhale, reach your arms up for Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to the heart, Tadasana. Inhale, arms reach back up. Exhale, dive over. Leap with your chest a bit. Keep the low back long. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk it forward into a plank pose. Take your time. You're warming up your hands, your wrists here. Shoulders are over the wrists. Really press through the heels. You're driving some weight into the legs, the glutes, as well as activate those long, strong longest and strongest muscles of your body. Take a beat, find your breath, spread your fingers out nice and wide. Then please lower your knees down to the ground, find your tabletop spine. Keep your toes tucked. On the exhale, cat spine, press the back of the heart fiercely to the ceiling. Inhale, cow spine, arc your back. Exhale, shoulders forward, elbows back, knees, chest and chin, Ashtangasana, on top of the toes, slide forward on your belly, low cobra. On the exhale, press it back to all fours, reach up your toes, tabletop, cat spine, exhale, fiercely dome, inhale, cow spine, exhale, shoulders forward, elbows back, knees, chest and chin. On top, slide it through, low cobra, use your back muscles. Exhale, all fours, reach up your toes, tabletop. One more time, cat spine, big dome. Inhale, arc, cow spine, shift it forward. To Ashtangasana, untuck your toes. Maybe go for a high cobra, if that feels good to you. Exhale, or reach up your toes, downward facing dog. And maybe pedal out through your feet a bit, if that feels good. Please do allow your head to relax, aka don't hold your head up. I want to give your cervical spine a break here, and this is one of the few options where you can let gravity gently pull on 
the crown of your head so you can let the whole cervical spine just catch a break. Beautiful. All right. On the next inhale, let's continue to look back. Lift your heels. Dome your spine. Roll forward into a plank pose. On the exhale, draw it back to downward facing dog. Spinal waves. Twice more. Inhale, looking back as you dome. And then the crown of the head extends. Exhale, send it back to your downward facing dog. One more time. Inhale, roll it forward. Take your time. And then let the exhale draw you back to a downward facing dog. And then please draw your big toes touch. Inhale, float your right leg up to the sky. Go for a dog split. Bend the knee, open up your hip. Bit of a circle through the ankle. Please smooth out your breath. Square your shoulders so not the entire left side of your body is doing the work. Tip this over to rock, start to your left if you want to. You can keep it stacked or go for the front body opening as you roll it open to uh, the ceiling. Inhale, flip it back around into a right dog split. Exhale, draw the right knee to your nose and step the foot through between your hands. Lower your left knee down on top of the toes. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Early, I'm Johnny Asana. Again, we're just uh, lengthening through the front body here. Try to draw your navel in and up to support your lower back. And uh, I always have to think I'm lifting my upper body out of my lower body here so I don't compress. Exhale, hands come down, frame your right foot. Draw your hips back, half split, Ardha Hanumanasana. Maybe shimmy your front foot a bit forward or back, knee back. I often see this happen. Very different pose. Half split, right? So uh, you want to go through the half of your Hanumanasana here. Go for a nice long inhale. Backing off a bit. Exhale, folding over a bit. Try not to lock out your right knee. Just flex the right foot very hard towards you. And next inhale, rebend the right knee. Maybe draw the foot underneath you a bit. Tuck your left toes. One-legged plank, right leg shoots back, point to the toes. Then place the top of your right foot down to the ground, rock your weight forward. And then place the top of the left foot onto the ground for upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And let's take a vinyasa, inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga halfway down, inhale, upward facing dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. As long as you know through the nose. Maybe side out. Let's then draw your big toes touch. Inhale, float your left leg up to the sky. Go for dog split. Uh, bend the knee and give your hip a beautiful external rotation. Circle through the ankle. Maybe you release your right heel all the way down to the ground. If you want to, tip this over to your right for Rockstar, which is a side plank variation, AKA everything can remain stacked, right? Or you roll it open to the ceiling for that beautiful front body lengthening. Inhale, pivot it back on the ball of your right foot for a left dog split. On the exhale, step that left foot through between your hands. Lower your right knee down, on top your toes. Inhale, sweep your arms up for Anjali Asana. As always, you can reach the fingers or interlace last three fingers overhead. Anytime we take a bind, we're opening up in the shoulders and we're definitely going to need this later on. Go for a nice long inhale, bit of a pulse, backing off, exhale, maybe deepening a bit. Then take your hands down to the ground, exhale, draw the hips back, half split. Ardha Hamanasana, maybe a bit of an adjustment, front foot or back knee. A little halfway lift, and then exhale, fold over. Inhale, rebend your left knee, tuck your right toes. A one-legged plank as you shoot your left leg back, point to the left toes. Take the top of the left foot onto the mat, rock your weight forward so you can take the top of the right foot on the mat as well. Look forward, up dog. Exhale, draw it back to downward facing dog. And then on the next inhale, let's go for that vinyasa, come forward. Chaturanga, halfway down. 
upward facing dog, and then a downward facing dog. Nice long inhale through the nose, baby side out. Take a beat in your downward facing dog. These extra two, three breaths in down dog, they compound over time, they matter. And we start to find ease in that downward facing dog. I always ask myself, uh, what would it take for me to feel the same ease in my down dog the way that I feel ease in child's pose? What am I doing differently? It usually means that we're working against ourselves and we're working too hard in down dog. Please go for child's pose or sit up on your shins. I forgot to mention that today's sequence won't be super fast as um, again, as I mentioned, we're going to go through some binds and I'd like you to move mindfully through them. No rushing. The thing about binding is it can feel like it's holding us back, but when we push back, it's going to tighten up. So breathing into it, relaxing into it, and you might find greater expansion. It requires a lot of concentration, focus, breath. So I'm not rushing or racing, rushing through anything today. On the inhale, let's find hands and knees, all fours. Exhale, downward facing dog. And come back to your breath. And then please draw your big toes, touch. Inhale, float your right leg up to the sky, dog split. Exhale, tap your right knee to your right tricep. Slide it down to your right wrist, up to the right tricep. Inhale, right dog split. Exhale, right knee draws to the nose and then step the foot through between your hands. Come onto tented fingers, fists or blocks, feet stay where they are. Inhale, look forward, drive through the left heel, expand across the chest. Exhale, draw your hips back, lengthen through the leg, head drops, your leg does not have to straighten. Inhale, you bend, weight comes forward. Look forward, press to that left heel. Exhale, bow it back as you lengthen through your right leg. One more time, inhale, let's bring it forward, weight comes forward, and then exhale, bow over your own right leg. Stay here for a moment. If you want to flex your right foot, draw the toes towards you. Lift up a bit, look forward, and then draw your heart towards the toes, and the toes draw towards your heart. Nice long inhale, maybe side. Then inhale, plant the sole of the right foot down to the ground. Step your left foot a foot, 12 inches forward. There's about three feet, uh, roughly a, a meter less than between your feet, little railroad track between the heels. Tend the fingers, fist blocks, go for halfway lift, draw your right hip back. Exhale, forward fold, Parjvatanasana, pyramid pose. And now make sure you can drive through both your heels, they are anchors. Allow your whole upper body to remain relaxed over your right leg. Engage your core, just take your hands to your hips. On the inhale, come all the way up to stand, tricky balance. Let's open up your shoulders, reach your arms forward, palms facing up. Take your arms to the side, flip the palms. Take it all the way around and then underneath your armpits and bring it back forward. Twice more to the side. Flip it. The higher you take it underneath the armpits, the greater the shoulder opener. We'll do that one more time to the side. Flip it, take it around and forward. Then take it to the side, bend the elbows. Go for opposite elbows here or perhaps reverse prayer where you take your pinky fingers and slide them between your shoulder blades. Draw your elbows back. Draw your right hip back, left hip forward. Inhale, go for a little bit of a standing back bend here. Take your time. Exhale, find flat back, come halfway down. Twice more. Inhale, come up. Use your feet, drive down, core, core, core. A little bit of that standing back bend. And then exhale, find flat back. You're shifting your perspective and your gaze here, so take your time. Inhale, come up. Take your time to roll back. And then exhale, find that halfway flat back. Get longer in your flat back here, but do draw your right hip back and left hip forward. Exhale with the bind, fold over, allow your head to drop. Take a beat here, maybe slide the pinky fingers a little further down or take a tighter grip around the elbows. 
Then let your bind go. Mindfully swing your fingertips to the wall behind you. This might be enough. Well, let's have a look at Humble Flamingo. You draw the weight into your right foot. My hands always crawl a little bit forward. As you lift your left foot off the ground, glue left knee to right knee. Now draw the weight into your right heel and all 10 fingerprints. Breath, breath, breath. Wherever you are, take your hands underneath your shoulders. As you exhale, draw the left knee into the nose. Inhale, come up to stand with the left leg, one legged Tadasana. Look forward and up. Take your hands around the left knee, the shin, superhero on the heart. I'm just going to take a step back here because I uh, don't want to crash into my beautiful plant here. Go for figure four chair, left ankle to right thigh, hands to heart. As you drop your seat way back, so not like your regular chair, here you can definitely stick your seat out. Flex your left foot. We will pulse here three times. Inhale, come up. Harder leg balance, exhale, set your seat back. Um, more hip opener here. Twice more. Inhale, come up. Exhale, send it back. And then inhale, come up. Exhale, back to figure four chair. Maybe take your forearms to your shin. Find a nice long inhale, seat that back, part four. Drive into your right foot, come up to stand, tree pose, work shasana, left foot. Anywhere along the right leg, but please avoid the right knee joint. Hands to heart. Take your right arm around the low back, once you feel steady, and take it into the left inner hip crease. Take your left hand to the inner left knee, your own hands on the just. Gently press the left knee to the wall behind you. As you bring your right shoulder bit forward and left shoulder bit back. Nice long inhale through the nose. Side out. Switch arms. Your left arm goes behind the low back. Right hand just drops beside you. That left arm is going to be there for a while. Move from your core. Limbs will follow. Open this up into a half moon pose. Left leg goes up and back. Right hand touches down, kick to the left heel. The left leg is not holding you back, it's holding you up, but you gotta keep the leg active. If you're not kicking to the heel and not engaging the muscles, it's just kind of dead weight up there, and that will be very hard to stay up. Also, the left shoulder half bind behind you, again, is helping you roll your left shoulder back. Keep that half bind, exhale, giant step back, warrior two, finding your feet. Take your time. Look over your front hand, flip the palm, go for reverse warrior with that half bind. Maybe press that right thigh down with the left hand. Keep the half bind, exhale, triangle pose. Draw your hips back, reach forward. Right hand is just gently landing wherever it is. Same thing, this half bind is helping you. I often see this, the chest rolling down. Now, half bind can help you here to roll the left shoulder back. For a moment, take your right hand to your chest to make sure you're not using the bottom hand to hold you up, but all core. Take a beat, find your breath. And then on the inhale, bend your right knee for side angle with that half bind. That can be forearm to thigh. That can be hand on the inside of the right foot, maybe a block. I like to come on tender fingers very often. Draw your left shoulder back. Please drive like crazy through the outer blade of the left foot. Now, if you want to go for your big toe lock, first two fingers, right hand around the right big toe, and we're gonna open it up on the inhale back to triangle pose. If you're still working on toe lock, triangle, maybe pulse or omit. And then please release your toe lock, hand comes down, turn the right toes to the left for your half bound wide forward fold. Look at your left leg, and then let's take your right hand to the left ankle, calf, thigh, whatever you can grab for your twist here. Let's see, you can turn your heart open to the ceiling, but lift your right hip up a little bit up to the sky. And then please carefully release. Right hand underneath your face, and then free that left arm up to the ceiling. And then yet another spinal twist. You're using your top hand more then your bottom hand to stay up, so fiercer reach up. On the exhale, left hand lowers, wide forward folds. The crown of the head touches, you can line up fingertips and big toes. You can always take your triceps to the shins and come up from there, or perhaps come up into your tripod. 
with your V legs in the in the legs. And your breath, if you're staying in the wide forward fold, be in the wide forward fold. If you're up, straddle out the legs, kick through your heels, and then slowly find that soft landing. Maybe heels touch down before the balls of your feet. Go for halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, turn over your right leg, or runner's lunge, lower the left knee down on top of the toes, heel toe, right foot over to the right, hand goes on the inside of the foot. Let's look forward, and I'll reach your right arm forward, up and back. You can continue to reach back, maybe up, or perhaps go for your tail grab. Pinky toe, drop the left foot. And if you want to go for three pulses with me, exhale, bow down, tap the forehead to the right ankle. Inhale, draw the left foot down to the ground and open up your heart to the ceiling. Twice more. Exhale, bow down, tail comes with you. Inhale, pull it open to the ceiling, left foot draws back. And then exhale, bow down. Inhale, bring yourself back up, full breath in. Then please mindfully release your tail if you have it. Right hand lowers. Tuck your left toes. Inhale, go for right down dog split. All right, ready for some spice? Fire in your belly, keep your right leg up. Come forward, one-legged plank. Exhale, right knee to nose. One-legged chaturanga, leg back, elbows back. Inhale, up to a plank, knee to nose. Exhale, one-legged chaturanga. Push back up to plank, knee to nose. One-legged chaturanga to your upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Nice long inhale through the nose, side out. Take a beat, take a beat. And then please, a child's pose or sit up on your shins. I'm going to adjust my lighting as it's getting a little darker here in New York. All right. Catch your breath. And let's uh, get into our second side. All fours. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Draw your big toes to touch. Inhale, float your left leg up to the sky. Exhale, tap the left knee to the left tricep. Slide it down to the left wrist, up to the tricep. Inhale, left dog split. Exhale, left knee draws to the nose and then step the foot through between your hands. Come onto tender fingers, fist blocks. Look forward, inhale. Exhale, you draw it back, bow over the leg. Twice more, we pulse. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, draw it back. Take your time. Really don't force to straighten that left leg. One more time. Inhale, draw it forward. And then exhale, draw it back over your left leg. Stay here for a moment. You can always flex your left foot. Draw the toes towards you. And then recommend you come up a little bit lengthen through the spine. Draw your left hip back and fiercely flex that left foot. Woof. And next inhale, plant the sole of the left foot back down to the ground. Step your right foot a foot forward, 12 inches bit to the right. Make sure you have that railroad track. Draw your left hip back, stay on tender fingers or blocks. Go for halfway lift. And then exhale, fold over. Just let the whole head relax here. Same with your upper body, the do round down, sorry, <laughs> drive down through your heels. As you stay as you are, just take your hands to your hips. And then come up to stand. Tricky balance. Take your hands in front of you, palms facing up. We'll circle, inhale to the side, flip it around. Take it underneath the armpits, forward and through. Twice more, inhale to the side. Take it around, underneath the armpits, forward, through. To the side, down, around, forward and through. Just to the sides, please. Bend the elbows, go for opposite elbows. Or reverse prayer here as you slide the pinky fingers between your shoulder blades. Inhale, go for a little standing back bend as far as feels okay for you. Exhale, go for that flat back. 
tabletop, twice more. Inhale, come up. Shoulders draw back, heart opens to the ceiling. Exhale, find that flat back. Take your time as you're going all the way from a downward gaze to an upward gaze. So give your body some time to catch up. Exhale, find your flat back. Inhale, get longer in your flat back. Draw that left hip back. Keep your bind. Exhale, fold over. Head drops. Maybe side out. And then release your bind. Hands come down, fingertips away from your face. This might be enough spice for you in that left uh, hamstring, the back of the left leg. Or start to look forward. You rock the weight into the left foot. Take the right foot off the ground, glue knee to inner knee, as you then rock your weight into the heel of the left foot and all 10 fingerprints. Very challenging. Wherever you are, take your hands underneath your shoulders and then take the right knee to the nose on the exhale. Inhale, look forward and up. Take the right leg with you as you come up to stand. One leg at Tadasana. Hands can be wrapped around the knee, the shin, find that superhero on your heart. Whenever you feel steady, figure four chair. Right ankle, left thigh, hands to the heart. Seat goes way back, heart forward. Two pulses. Inhale, come up. Exhale, seat back, heart forward. Inhale, come up. Keep that gaze steady. Exhale, take it back and down. One more time. Inhale with pulse. Exhale, settle in. Take a beat. Maybe forearms to your shin again. Have a steady gaze, steady breath. Then inhale, we come up to tree pose, Prakshasana. Take the right foot anywhere along the inner left leg. Maybe that is thigh, ankle, calf. Uh, per use, please avoid the knee joint. Once you feel long, tall, and steady, wrap the left arm around the low back into the right inner hip crease. Then take your right hand on the right knee, your own hands on the just. Gently work the right knee a little further back to the wall behind you. Roll your right shoulder forward, left shoulder back, steady gaze. And switching your arms, your right arm goes behind you, left arm drops to your side, and then connect to your core, please. Open this up. Half moon pose, right leg goes up and back, left hand goes down, it's steady gaze. Now, as I've always said, you want to kick through your right heel, it will activate your right glutes to keep the leg up. Your core is doing all the work for your torso, think about it as if you're radiating in all directions here, not just leaning on one thing below you. <laughs> keep that arm wrapped around you, giant step back, warrior two as you gaze over your left hand, but the right hand is still behind. Flip the left palm up, go for a reverse warrior. Maybe press the left thigh down, straight to the top arm. Exhale, go for triangle pose with that half bind. Hips draw back, then you come up and over. And then take your time. The hand will start to lower over time. We want to set ourselves up first. You can look up if that feels good in the neck. Maybe onto the horizon or down. Perhaps take your left hand to your chest just to make sure you're not leaning on the left leg as a shelf. Next, inhale carefully and bend your left knee. Side angle, either forearm to thigh. Perfect. And on the inside of the foot, maybe block. But do find that beautiful side waist opening and use that hand arm around you for support. Press into the outer blade of your right foot. Smooth, steady breath. You want to yogi toe lock, first two fingers, left hand around the left big toe. And the inhale lengthen through your left leg, doesn't have to straighten. Breathe into that quite beautiful heavy stretch. Maybe side out. And then release that toe lock if you have it. Left toes face to the right. Wide forward fold with your half bind. Look at your right leg, then please take the left hand to the right ankle, shin, calf, whatever you can grab. And as you turn your chest open to the ceiling, rock your weight into the front of your feet, turn your sit bones up, and try to lift your left hip up a bit. And then mindfully release that right ankle, left hand drops underneath your face, 
Right arm extends itself through the ceiling. Find that beautiful spinal twist. And then exhale, the right hand lowers, wide forward fold. Maybe you want to grab your ankles or yogi toe lock from here. Maybe walk your hands in between your legs off your, uh, away from your face. If you are familiar with tripod, maybe take this to your tripod seat. It's actually quite stable as your tripod is wider, but it can be a bit scary to come up at first. Find your breath, steady gaze, drishti, ujjayi. Then if you are up, start to straddle out to your legs, kick the heels, and find your soft landing. Inhale, take a halfway lift. Exhale, turn over your left leg. Lower your right knee down on top of toes. Heel to that left foot a little bit over to the left, hand on the inside. Looking forward, lengthening the front body, reach your left arm forward up the back. Maybe continue to reach back or up. Or perhaps rock your way a bit forward so you can go for your toe grab. You can simply breathe here, shine your beautiful heart open to the ceiling, or three pulses. Exhale, bow it down, take the tail with you if you have it. Inhale, draw the right foot closer to the ground and open the heart up to the ceiling. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, you take it back up. And then exhale, take it down over the leg. Inhale, bring it back up. Please carefully release that tail. Left hand lowers, tuck your right toes. Go for a, a left down dog split on inhale. Fire in your belly, go with your breath, please. Keep that left leg up. Come forward, one-legged plank. Exhale, left knee to nose. Inhale, one-legged chaturanga. Press back up to plank. Exhale, knee to nose. One-legged chaturanga. Inhale, press up to plank, knee to nose. One-legged chaturanga to your upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice long inhale through the nose. Side out. Take those two breaths if you can. Keeping your knees unlocked, you can continue to push the front of the mat forward. They get longer, longer, longer through the whole back body. Go for child's pose or sit up on your shins. I'm gonna check one more time. How are we doing in the light? Great. So just three rounds of a Surya variation. Again, we're going to go slower to go into some binding and knee mobility stuff. You know what I mean when we get there. Um, I'll come to face you at a certain point. I won't be mirroring you. That will get too confusing, but I think uh, that won't be necessary. Please find all fours, hands and knees. And then your downward facing dog. Oh, my mind is already ahead of me. Nice long inhale through the nose. Side out. As you continue to look back, draw your right knee to the nose, figure four, right ankle to the left thigh, booty back, you're in the figure four down dog. Keep that figure four as you come forward into a figure four plank. You can unhook or go for figure four chaturanga. When you're halfway down, you unhook to upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Draw your big toes to touch. You can roll your shoulders a bit forward, bend the knees, squat way back. Look forward, feet forward. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana, full breath in. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, arms reach back up, full breath in. Exhale, dive it down, forward fold. Inhale, find a halfway lift. Exhale, step back, a hop back, float back, or skip it. Please try to avoid hopping back into a burpee. So you're going to land directly into Chataram. Breath, breath, breath. Take another two deep breaths here for me, please. As we can use each inhale and down dog as a bit of a break. 
and each exhale to go a little further. Allow your neck to remain relaxed as you draw your left knee to the nose. Place that left ankle to the right thigh, your booty goes back. If you want a little bit more on the hip opener, drive that left knee a little further away from your face. Keep that figure four, roll forward, figure four plank. On hook or with figure four, chaturanga. On hook there, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. And breath. Draw your big toes to touch. I like to come forward, creating a bit of momentum, activating my core, bend your knees, squat back. On no breath, full exhale, step it, hop it, float it, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up, or guys, fast now. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold over, take your time. Bow completely down, full breath out, halfway lift, inhale, prepare. Look forward, step or hop. Upward facing dog. To your downward facing dog. All right. Now please step your feet a footprint closer to your wrists and separate them roughly as wide as the mat so you can drive your heels down to the ground. Then please take the back of your right hand to your lower back and drop all the weight into your legs. Head is heavy. Stay here for some spice. A single point of focus, rock the weight into your right foot and see if you can let the left foot float off the ground. Spread to the toes. Steady breath. Right heel, drive it down. Find another gaze, another beat, another breath. And then take that left foot back down to where you found it. And then take the right hand back down, please. Step it back into a regular downward facing dog length. Inhale, come forward into a plank pose. Exhale, shoulders, no, sorry, forearms come down. Seat goes up, you're in dolphin pose. So not forearm plank, you're in down dog on the forearms. Now look at your thumbs. You want to use your leg muscles for this primarily. Exhale, tap your forehead between the thumbs. Inhale, press it up over the elbows. Twice more. Exhale, between the thumbs. Inhale, press it back up. Exhale, between the thumbs. Inhale, press it back up. Allow your head to drop. Look at your feet. Give it a try. On the inhale, back to down dog. Lengthen to the arm. Maybe both forearms at the same time. Dry big toes touch back of the mat. We prepare, roll forward. Exhale, squat back, look forward, feet forward. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale, come all the way up to stand, Urva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to the heart. All right, so I'll come to face you. Please draw your left knee up into your chest. Find that superhero in the heart. Then whenever you feel ready, option one, figure four chair. Uh, be there for a beat. I'll be with you in a moment. Otherwise, take your right hand to the left foot and start to parallel your shin to the ground. Find a superhero in the heart as fast as you can for stability. Then I like to use both my hands to help the pinky toe, jug the left foot into the right inner hip crease, so you can face the left knee down to the ground. Either with figure four or keep that left foot into your right hand, so you can fold over, turn your gaze down, hands come down to the ground. If you're figure four, maybe pulse a bit. Huge pull for the hamstrings, Achilles. Do try to not hold your breath. You can always pulse or bend the right knee. If you're figure four, reach your left arm around the low back. Maybe go for the left big toe mound, yogi toe lock, and then fold yourself in. Find your breath. And then let's release the toe lock. Left hand lowers. Now look forward a bit. Bend your right knee. Pop the ball of the right foot, and then come to sit on your right heel. You want to take it right into your perineum, just very in the center of everything. 
And then a steady gaze. So give it a try. Take your hands to your heart. For a tiptoe stand, I'm still working on this. I always hold my breath. Not helpful. We've had enough playing. Please carefully drop your seat back behind you. You can keep your half lotus, right foot is down, left knee faces down. If you're like, yeah, you're funny, but no. Please take that left lower leg in front of you like a half butt kanasana, or extend the left leg long. Right knee stays the same. They're all different variations of marachyasana, which we will have a look at. Always half lotus, left knee down. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, find a flat back in front of your, on the inside of your right thigh. You can let your hands come down and bow down. Or look forward, lengthen through your spine. Maybe reach your arms around, going for the bind. Peace fingers, wrists, maybe hands out around the right shin and thigh. Go for a little lift, a little lengthening. And then exhale, fold over. So a little compression on the bones here, which makes for a very strong bone. But please don't blow out your knee, it's not worth it. So feel free, please, to adjust. Then let go of your binds. You can lengthen out through your right leg now. Keep the half lotus or take that left foot anywhere along the inside of your right leg. So you're either going to be in Janusharshasana or your Ekapadabhada Padma Pashamottanasana. If you have the half lotus, reach the left arm around, left big toe mount. Reach one or both arms up. And then exhale, fold over. So both variations are beautiful to stretch the back body as well as lower body, upper body. And they are beautifully um, stimulating your digestive system. Any forward fold will do that. The half lotus bind just drives the left heel into the ascending colon, so that adds a little extra stimulation. But please breathe. Nice long inhale. Maybe side out. Then inhale, come up. Take your hands behind you, rock your weight back, bend your right knee, foot goes on the ground. Right hand on the right ankle, work the lower leg to your right side. The right heel is on the right uh, side of the glute. You can always take the left lower leg in front of you or keep your half lotus. If you're in half lotus, Reach your left arm around, find a big toe lock, or perhaps take peace fingers or tent fingers behind you if you're not buying. Right hand goes on the left knee, Barbara Jasna twist. Classically, you want to take the back of your right hand underneath the left thigh and then press the palm down to the ground. Go for a nice long inhale, side out. And then please carefully let that go. You can unpretzel yourself. So I'm going to face the front of my mat, but please unpretzel yourself. Cross one ankle over the other. You can draw it underneath you. Maybe step back, hop back, float back, and then reach in downward facing down. If you took all those half lotuses, maybe pedal out through your feet a little bit to bring a little bit of extra blood back through that left knee joint. And then we will have a look at the second side. Draw your feet as wide as the mat and step them a footprint closer to your wrists. Again, so you can shift all the way into the legs. Then take the back of your left hand to your lower back. Continue to rock the weight back. This might be enough for you. Or with a steady gaze at something. So you can float your right leg off the ground, spread through the toes. Drive through the left heel, keep reaching up. Use your right palm, drive it down. Go for one. Go for two. And then take that right foot down. Left hand lowers. So you get back to a regular downward facing dog length. And then roll forward to plank pose. Inhale. Exhale, forearms down, seat up, dolphin pose. Look at your thumb. Let your head drop, look at your feet. Inhale, down dog. If you're like, whoa, not for me today, then stay here. Or twice more, inhale, come forward. 
Exhale, forearms down, seat up, dolphin, look at your thumbs, please. Inhale, head drops, look back, and then down dog. One more time if you wish to do that three times. Last round, go forward, inhale, plank. Exhale, forearms down, seat up, dolphin. Checking out your thumbs, and then let your head drop. Inhale, downward facing dog. Oof, that'll make for a strong and open shoulders. Dry big toes touch, roll your shoulders forward. Let's squat back, look forward, feet forward. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to the heart. All right, I've come to face you. So the left side we did first because I wanted to get to the left side of the digestive system first. Sorry, the right side. And now the left side to so follow the natural cycle. Please draw your right knee up into your chest. Either figure four chair, I'll be with you in a moment. Or perhaps take that right foot into the left hand, start to level out the shin a bit. Once you feel steady, take the foot into both hands and take the pinky toe edge into the left inner hip crease. Make sure you face the right knee down. Might feel intense or look intense, but facing it down might actually feel better. Now you can, if you can, release that right foot with your right hand. And then with your figure four, have lotus. Take your time to fold over. And now once you're over the leg, you might uh, release both hands down to the ground. Head drops. If you're in half lotus, reach your right arm around the low back so you can go for the big toe, a grab. Nice long inhale, maybe side out. And then please release that toe lock if you have it. And feel free to pulse a couple more times if you're in figure four and that feels good. Then look forward. Bend the left knee, pop on the ball of the left foot, and you're either in a toe stand or figure four, which I actually think might be harder than your half lotus. You want to sit right on that heel. All right, let's give this a try. So playtime, humble pie, maybe hands to the heart. <laughs> Always have a good time in class when I teach this. And some days I can hover a couple seconds, and some days I'm like, nah, not so much. Take your time. Uh, carefully, hands to walk back, drop into your seat. Keep your half lotus, please face the knee down. Option two, just take the lower leg in front of you, half body kanasana, or lengthen your right leg. So you're either forward folding in a moment, maybe binding here, maybe binding here, or if you have that half lotus, again, I just have to reset, you bind in a moment. You know, reach your arms up. Exhale, flat back. You can bow down, relax, head drops. Maybe wrap your arms around, go for peace fingers. Pull your heart forward or through, a little lengthening. And then exhale, fold over. So when you think about it, I mentioned this earlier, like binding can seem like we're literally constraining ourselves. But I like to think more about it, we're containing ourselves. Like we're literally pulling ourselves together. It's going to have a very grounding effect on us if we allow it to. Nice long inhale. Side out. And please release your binds as you lengthen out to your left leg this time. Right foot can be anywhere along the inside of the left leg or keep your half lotus. If you have the half lotus, make sure it's really in the inner hip crease. If it's on the quad, it can uh, kind of jam it down and be painful. You don't want that. Go for toe lock if you have it, reach your right arm around, and then exhale, folding over. Go for a nice long inhale, side out. Take a beat, let that beautiful forward fold do its magic. And then take your time to bring yourself back up. Hands go behind you, rock your way back, bend the left knee wherever you are. Take the left hand, left ankle, and take that lower leg beside you. Again, if you let that right leg, lower leg be where it is, it will be on the inner left thigh. If you have the half lotus, keep that. Right arm, you can reach it around, maybe big toe lock. 
or take the right hand behind your seat, left hand on the right knee, or perhaps take the back of the left hand underneath the right thigh. Barbara Jasna twist, quite the pretty, pretty twist, nice long inhale, and side out. And then take your time to carefully uncoil, unpretzel. I'm gonna face uh, the front of my mat. You can cross your ankles, come over your shins, step back, hop back, upward facing dog. It's a little loud for my liking, but hey, work in progress. Nice long inhale, side out. Go for a little pedal, especially if you took all those half lotuses. And then please take a moment in child's pose or sit up on your shin. as we're going to go through one more mini standing wave. Uh, again, intentionally going a little slower. I'm sorry, I'm just adjusting my music here for a moment. Because I'd like you to be uh, prepared. I was talking about this in class this week. Um, I call them party poses, not advanced poses. It's not so much that they're the end goal, um, nor does it mean anything, you know, it's a lot of training and discipline, but primarily we can come into these more complicated shapes because they require incredible concentration, focus, connection to the breath. The moment we stop breathing, hold the breath, the mind wanders, we fall out. So it's not the party pose that is the end game, but what is required to get into them. So these next couple of shapes uh, might definitely uh, kick in some of those things that I just mentioned. And hence, that's why it's called yoga. Yoga means to yoke, to unite, mind, body, breath, mind, body, breath, spirit. And uh, the goal, that goal really is to have all of those come together into one cohesive uh, unit. All right, please come to hands and knees, all fours. Exhale, downward facing dog. If you want a vinyasa, please take it, as I kept you in child's pose or sitting on your shins for a while. Feel free to flush out your spine. And you can do any vinyasa that you want, chin stand, hand stand, rock it out. We'll be in downward facing dog. No rush, dry big toes touch, inhale, float your right leg up to the sky. Exhale, step that right foot to the outside of your right hand. Lower the left knee down on top of your toes. Let's look forward. And then maybe come onto your forearms or take your forearms to blocks. Look forward. Might seem insignificant, but the looking forward will lengthen you through the whole front of your body especially the front of that training leg. Now, uh, maybe stay here if you enjoy the tail grab. Take your right shoulder underneath the right knee, reach back with your right hand, and perhaps maybe rock your weight forward so you can bend the left knee. You can grab the top, big toe edge of the left foot, rock your weight even further forward, look for a big, big opener for the left hip flexors, quads. Nice long inhale through the nose. Side out. Please carefully then release that tail. Come back onto palms. Tuck your left toes, go for right dog split. I like to walk my hands a little bit further back. Look forward. As you take your right knee to the right tricep, bend the elbows back. Maybe open that up into Kundanyasana 2, your flying split, so to say. And then take that back into a right down dog split. When my lights just went out, draw the right knee into your nose and then step the foot through between your hands. Lower the left knee down, on top your toes, draw your hips back, half split. Maybe go for Hanumanasana and literally a centimeter, half a centimeter, inch, whatever it matters. Don't think if you can't go into the full so to say, touchdown. 
that it's not beneficial. Uh, it definitely uh, goes a little uh, smidges of length help. Nice long inhale through the nose. Side out. And then take your time to draw the leg back if it's long or long-ish. Rebend the knee. And then please reach your arms up to the ceiling. I'm Johnny Yasin. Exhale, hands to the heart. Twist to your right. Take your time. Uh, here is where everything begins. So you can find length in the spine. Breathe into the lower back and then use your exhale to twist a bit further. Use your core, please, to twist, not yanking yourself just over with the tricep or elbow. It's just a guide into the right direction. Then you can spread your wings out for a moment and then either take your hands to your heart in prayer or go for a full bind, peace fingers, maybe hand towel. All right, breath, breath, breath. Everything that I just mentioned, focus, concentration, keep that going. As you chop your left toes, drive to the left heel, and then find your breath, get super long. Hands are at the heart, or you're in a bind. Look down, steady gaze. We're gonna take this into a revolved half moon pose, but either with the bind, or hands at the heart in prayer, steady breath. Steady gaze. And then step that left foot next to the right. Twist a chair or bound twist a chair. All right, breath. Pop the ball of your right foot. Inhale, look forward and up. Come up to stand. If you are not binding, take your left hand to the outer right thigh and fiercely reach your right hand behind you to the wall behind you. If you are, maybe kick through your right heel. Find that superhero on the heart. And then if you're binding, keep it. Let's all wrap. Right leg over the left. If you're not binding, left arm over right. Eagle wrap. So either bound eagle or unbound. Find your breath, deep inhale. Maybe a sigh. Then please carefully unravel, let go. As you find a forward fold, Uttanasana. Please go for opposite elbows, a bit of a rack down, nice long inhale. Maybe sigh or flutter. And then let that go, find halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, step back, hop back, float back, be mindful. Upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Deep inhale through the nose. Side out. Take a moment in this down dog, allowing some beautiful length to come back through the arms, opening in the shoulders. And then carefully let that go, child's pose, or sit up on your shin. See how our playlist is doing here. All right. A second final lap here, final side. And then uh, we are done for today. All four is on the inhale, please. Exhale, downward facing dog. Please draw your big toes to touch. Inhale, float your left leg up to the sky. Exhale, step the left foot to the outside of your left hand. Lower your right knee down on top of your toes. Look forward. Stay on palms. Maybe come onto your forearms if you wish. Just looking forward, I recommend that you hug the left knee to the left shoulder. Not only will it give you an open hip, but uh, or work on open hips and also a strong hip. If you want to, you can slide the left shoulder underneath the left knee, reach back with the left hand. Rock your weight a bit forward, try to bend the right knee, maybe go for the big toe edge of the foot. And then rock your weight even further forward as you look a little bit further forward. Nice long inhale. 
Ready, side out. And carefully let that go. As you come back onto palms, go for a left down dog split on the inhale. Again, I like to walk my hands a smidge forward, so when I bend my elbows back, I have a landing spot on my triceps. You can always tap the left shin to the left tricep and take it from there. We'll find Kundanyasana two, and then I'll meet you in a left down dog split. Exhale, step the foot through between your hands. Lower your right knee down on top of toes. Go for half split. We've been here before. Or maybe slide the foot a little bit or a lap forward. As you journey into Hanumanasana, I really like the word full split. Uh, there's a million things in between. And uh, not one thing is better than the other. So my left side is definitely different from the right. So uh, I like to, I tend to drop a bit to the left side to avoid the hip opening. So you can face your right knee and top of the foot down to the ground. Nice long inhale, side out. And then if the leg is long, longish, draw it back. Please reach your arms up. Inhale, Anjani Asana. Again, length. Exhale, hands to heart. Twist to your left. Take your time. So uh, finding your core strength to twist. Hands at the heart. Breath in the low back. Expand your wings if you want to. Or perhaps going for a full bind. That can be peace fingers or hand towel. Steady gaze, steady breath. Now when you feel steady, tuck your back toes. All right, I gotta catch my breath here. And then drive to the right heel and knee float. Steady gaze as you look down. Take this into revolved half moon with hands at the heart or your bind. As you breathe, ujjayi. Still playing with that one. Left side is tricky for me. All right, so just step that right foot next to the left. Uh, keep your bind if you have it, or hands at the heart. Pop on the ball of the left foot. Inhale, look forward and up, come up to stand. Take the left leg with you. If you are not binding, right hand goes to the outer left hip and reach your left hand to the wall behind you. If you want to, kick to the left heel. You can also take your right hand to the pinky toe edge of the left foot if you're not binding for Utita C, either bound or unbound. Then if you're binding, keep it. And let's wrap the left leg over the right. If you're not binding, take right arm over left for eagle wrap. Go for a nice long inhale. Maybe side out. And then please carefully Uncoil, hands come down, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, double tap, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, travel back any way you want. Step, half float. Upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Catch your breath. Last down dog here. Uh, some symmetry back into your body. And then go for hands and knees, tabletop. So with your feet out to one side, drop your seat behind you. And please come to a roll on your back. Go for a bit of a windshield wiper once you get there. The side to side. So, we didn't do a lot of back bending. We did some rock stars and Anjani asanas. But we did a lot of twists and a ton of shoulder opening. So, 
you should be prepared for a back bend. That can be a bridge pose, say to Pandasana. You can always take a block underneath your sacrum or interlace your hands underneath you. Or maybe take your hands by your ears. You're more than welcome to come up in Urdhva Dhanurasana. Maybe come onto your tippy toes. Perhaps take your hands a little wider. You can always walk your feet away from your hands as you try to straighten a bit through the leg, through the legs. And then slowly come down whenever you are ready. Again, a little bit of a windshield wiper to neutralize your spine. Now, a couple of options. If there's still anything you want to take, please take it. But for Shavasana, maybe Sukta Baddha Kanasana, so those are the feet together, knees wide. Of course, you can lengthen through your legs, Shavasana. But if you did all of those lotuses, half lotuses, <laughs> perhaps, You'd like to take your Shavasana in a seated um, meditation lotus, taking your right foot in first, left leg on top. And maybe you wish to be here. Wherever you are, allow your eyes to close. Finding a soft gaze. I uh, mentioned this in my other videos. I think I have. But going on to what I mentioned earlier on, the practices or qualities that are required to attempt these uh, especially also harder transitions, it can definitely be some humble pie. But they are qualities that don't just serve us on the mat to work our way into a very tricky shape. But they're also qualities that can help us move through life off the mat. And I think once we start to kind of see that, it's not so much the getting into the pose, whether we can Acquire it, but the journey into it that starts to become the real treasure, the real gift. As we're learning so much about ourselves through this practice, not just uh, making shapes in the body. Through a lot of movement, allow yourself to breathe into spaciousness in your shoulders, space around the heart that we created by all those beautiful binds, open hips. Open hips, open heart together things lead to also keeping an open mind. And when we have an open mind, I think there's very little we cannot move through, face. One of my teachers once said, nothing in this world is worth you closing off your heart or your mind for we can keep both wide open. You're more than welcome to stay here a little longer. Otherwise, perhaps come to join me in a comfortable seated position, or maybe even half or full lotus. Padmasana, Ardha Padmasana. Draw your hands to the heart. Take a nice long inhale to side out through the mouth. And inhale to Om if you wish. Om Om Shanti
Shanti, Shanti. Oh, peace, peace, peace. Thank you so much for practicing with me, for playing with me, for breathing with me. Let me know any questions. Uh, I love hearing your feedback. Please drop it in the comments. Thank you for subscribing, liking. It helps me out tremendously as I wish to grow this channel into a, a greater offering for you. Have a beautiful week. I'll be back next week. Thank you so much.